Hi, my name is Drew, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to, how to use Hotmail on a Windows computer. So, first on your computer, go to the Start button. And then, um, go to Edge. It should be right here. It should say Edge, um, Microsoft Edge, and it should have this little icon right here. Press it, and then it'll take you to this page which has a bunch of news articles on different things going on currently and there should be a search bar right on the top of your screen um, and it should have this flashing line right here so just press that and then type in h-o-t-m-a-i-l dot c-o-m again h-o-t-m-a-i-l dot c-o-m uh, hotmail dot com press enter on your keyboard and then you'll be taken to this page, um, Microsoft Outlook, um, connect, organize, and get things done. This is the page that you should be on. Um, now, once you get to this page, first, actually, if you don't have an account, you can go here to create your free account. And you can type in an email that you want to have, like, let's say, I just want to have, um, um, or I can just say like test one three four, one four two or something like that. Any, anything you want is just a example. Uh, normally, um, you can change it to one of the. Normally, it'll be set at Outlook.com, but in this drop down, you can go and change it to Hotmail.com. So, like in my email right here on the top right corner, gpk09 at outlook.com. Uh, this email right here is my, um, it's like the outlook.com is because I set it to outlook.com. But if I were to change this to hotmail.com and have created that account, it would be gpk09 at hotmail. So once you do that, you can just press, press next. This is already filled out because it's a very common username. But um, just follow all the directions given here. And then once you've done that and you create your account, you can press sign in right here. And once you press sign in, uh, this is already filled out because I already, I already have an account. And I've saved it as my password. And I've saved my password in my email. But just type in your username here, press next. And then enter your password here. Um, um, for the for um, purpose for for uh private purposes, I'm not gonna show my password. Um, but your password will be right here. And then press sign in. And this is what the page is gonna look like once you've signed in. Um, you'll have no emails. This is just an email that I have. Just stand by. Um. And you're going to be defaulted into this focus section. Well, there will be emails here. Um, and like this um, section, there will be emails. In focus, there's one part. Others, like other emails, they'll be here. Um, and there's like multiple different options once you sign in. Uh, you can send a new email to whoever you want. You can type in who you want to send it to. You can add a subject and you can type in your email and then just boom, press send. Um, or you can set schedule when you want to send it. So you can like, like if you're like, you can send it like next day. Um, if you want to fill out this email before like a day, um, a day before you want to, you filled out the email, but you want to send it on like a specific time later, you can schedule it to send it automatically on that time, which is pretty useful. Um, but that's how to send an email. Um, you can go to your sent items and there'll be many, uh, different items that'll be sent to you. Um, I mean, not sent to you. There'll be different items that were sent to you from other people. And then drafts is basically if you want to, if you're not done filling out an email, um, and you want to like go outside or eat lunch or something but but you still want to keep the email saved you can just um um 
just X out of it and it'll be saved out as a draft right here. And then you can go back and you can just like fill this email out. And then there'll be an inbox which is where all your emails will be mainly. Your junk email is just like emails that don't go to your um inbox, they'll be at your junk. And then deleted items, if you want to delete anything, uh you can just delete it and it'll go here. And then to permanently delete something, you can just press delete. Do you want to permanently delete this? Sure. And then archive, there's really nothing here. Um in my archive. Archive is where you can move messages from your inbox to clean it up. Like if you have like a thousand emails in your uh Outlook over time and you wanna somehow decrease down, but you don't know how, you can just select all the emails you want and then you can just move it all the way to your archive notes is just for taking notes like let's say i want to um uh like something like this uh if you want to note it down you can just note down what it is and then it'll be saved conversation is just the conversations you've had with other people in groups you can create a group and you can add people's emails so you guys can work together in a group on a shared project. Like, if you guys are working on a presentation, one you can send it to um, through e Outlook, and everyone else can receive. And then you can just uh, send it to everyone who you want, and uh, like you can uh, change. You can add them to the group, so you guys will all be in the same will be in the same project. And then there's these different things here, which are calendar, which basically you can just set dates and times for different things you have to do. People are like the people that you have had out of this context, so you can just add a contact here. And then attachments, basically it'll show everything you attach to every email. So if you want to attach an image to an email, you can just um, uh, see it through here, see which all the ones you've attached. And then uh, go to your, and then your to-do is basically just a, a to-do list that you can make like instead of making it on paper you can just do it on here you can just add tasks and all that and then word is uh you can open uh word excel powerpoint for you can open this for presentations through here you can open this to create a spreadsheet for like a project or for your job or something and then word document you can create a document you can print it out and then your OneDrive, you can just save all of your files um like you like you want to download and let's say you want to download a file sent from another person you can go you can save it to your OneDrive and then here uh more apps is just other apps like OneNote for example which is a useful app if you're uh with colleagues and you're working with them but yeah that's basically how you use uh Hotmail um thank you guys for watching bye